When he's not driving a 650 horsepower supercar, Craig Lowndes drives a Holden Colorado Z71. And we're lucky enough to have Craig with us here today to talk us through his daily driver. G'day Craig, hey, how, how are you? I'm good. Now, this is, this is your family car, isn't it? It is, and it's something that uh, most people find it really strange because they all probably expect a Commodore or a V8 or something that uh, goes along the lines of what I do. But mm. uh, there's a couple of reasons why we chose a Colorado. A, that I enjoy four-wheel driving, and B, it's got a great towing capacity, which mm. is what we need for the caravan. Mm. And what this is, is it's a triple eight pack. So mm. we get our car supplied through the Ega Group, and uh, through them, we do this triple eight pack. So Colorado being one of them, they also do a special on a ute and a sedan. So obviously the Colorado for me is fantastic. So they pimp it with obviously the rims, uh, they do an exhaust, uh, they do a suspension lift. So for mm. me, uh, and probably most people notice that uh, front of the car is generally on, on a downhill slope. So they raise the front to make it level. I love the Z71's sports bar. It's very, very Baywatch, isn't it? It's <laughs> it is, and it's something that, uh, you know, I, I do like the body styling of it. Uh, the previous model, I didn't have a Z71. I actually yep. had the, the sports bar. It looked mm. really nice, but mm. I actually do like the body styling of it. Now, talking of styling, we've got a bit of, a, I think it's a Craig Lowndes <laughs> bespoke modification here. What, is this race tape? Is this, is, is it an aero thing? What, <laughs> what's going on here? I don't know if you can see it at home, but we, it well, looks like, oh, there we go. It's one of those things that, uh, as you can see, the, the tub liner, um, it doesn't sort of go over the lip of the back tailgate. So yeah. whenever you're carrying anything, you, you know, what, the reason for it all is I didn't want to scratch the top of the paint. Why don't we get in the car and take it for a test drive? Yeah, that'd be great. Fantastic. All right, so off we go with Craig Lowndes in his Colorado Z71. We're getting a bit of a uh, test drive. I like the stitching up there. That's quite cool. It is, and it's, it's just, again, it's just a, a bit of a, um, you know, uh, attention to detail. I think yeah. it's just finishing off really nice. Yeah, so yeah, the back yeah. seat's all the same yep. um, as a Z71. Yep. Front seat's a bit nicer. Uh, and the rest of the car inside, the interior-wise, is, is basically as a Z71. So um, the good thing is, is, you know, it's got a full exhaust system on it, which, you know, opens up a little bit nicer, mm. lets it go a little bit freer. Um, we have a, a BMC filter, air filter in it, which again just opens it up, allows it to breathe. And, yep. and the good thing about it is, is it, it does help towing um, yep. and it also yep. helps the fuel economy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, it's, it is the same four-cylinder turbo diesel, which comes in the regular Colorado Z71. Yes. I think like 500 newton metres. Um, has it been tuned to produce more power, more torque, or is it engine pretty much stock apart from that the well, filter you were talking about? Well, the engine's a stock. It, yeah. it's, you know, yeah. We don't touch the engine in any sense of that way. Um, there is an option to put a chip on it if you want to open it up a little more. Um, and a chip. So you can yeah. do that if you like. What happens when you do, when, when Lounsey does pull up at the traffic lights and someone, someone pulls up beside you and then looks across and they see Craig Lowndes, is, is, it, is it on? Is it race, <laughs> is it race, is it race day? Um, in this car, it's a little hard to try and uh, uh, get the in a sense the, the race on. But the good thing I, I do it, from time to time it does happen. Yeah, and oh, you look really? across, you sort of get people looking across and waving and saying hello and all that side of it. Do you, but, do you, let, do you let them win? Well, I always I like to use the lights as a staging light of a race. So as soon as you you'd like to get this, the the reaction and yes, then it's, that, yes. it's just so when it goes red to green bang you're yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. of course for me you try and get the reaction, jump on them. Yeah, yeah. And of course then they come up behind you or beside you. Oh, and so you else. so you pull away. Well, you try and get the jump. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it uh, you know um, people beat you off the yeah. line. But the only thing I can do in the Colorado not is not if it's Tanda though. Tanda can never. He's well, terrible off the line. Well, Tanda he actually has he has had a few bad ones. <laughs> I've got to say that. Not as bad as Scaife. Scaife was always oh, a terrible Scaife, starter. Scaife, yeah. So this has just got all the creature comforts. The race car doesn't have radio, heater, yep. air conditioner. They should have radios in race cars, especially after, what, 151 laps of Bathurst. True. Like, like we do sing to ourselves, but luckily you? we don't have uh, voice-activated microphones. What's, what's your song? What do you sing? Oh, look, we... we... Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> <laughs> what depends on, I suppose, what, yeah. what, what uh, position you're in. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, like if you win a, win, a, win a Bathurst, it's almost the Queen, we are champions. We are the champions of the world. I've noticed down here there are, there are a few uh, burnout marks on the road outside Triple Eight. Are any of those your handiwork? No. It's probably Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, -dub. Jamie really sucks at burnouts. So maybe it's him at late night just practicing. Just practicing. Just practicing. But Jamie, he puts it in ditches, like in Tasmania a couple of yeah. years ago. I think Neil Crompton tried to G him on and yeah. he tried to show off and ended up in the ditch. So kids, <laughs> if you want to be a good race car driver, practice your burnouts. All right, so you spend 
Wow, that's a <laughs> manoeuvre. Truck coming out in front of us. Yeah. Um, the last time you gave me a lift, Craig, uh, <laughs> was a hot lap around Sydney Motorsport Park. And I'm um, pretty sure my internal organs have never been the same <laughs> since. This has been a lot more sedate, um, thankfully, in a lot of ways. Um, it's, um, look, it's, the, the amount of pressure that's on your body when you're driving a V8 Supercar is, is quite intense. And I, I did not realise how full on, you know, the, the, the forces are on your body after until I got out of that car and I felt like, you know, I'd been beaten up. <laughs> We're all fit. Yep. Um, you know, and, and that's one of the biggest thing for me is, is what keeps me going is, is the, you know, keeping fit, the enjoyment of being inside a race car and also being competitive. But the fitness mm. side of it is, is huge. And you'd be losing quite a bit of weight too, just out in, in fluid and water, wouldn't you? About two to two and a half kilos per drive. Um, and that's something that we do carry drink on board. Yeah. Luckily, I don't sweat a lot. I'm not a sweater. So not a swe I, I'm not a sweater either. Yeah. So I don't need a lot of electrolytes yeah. to, to replenish my body. So yeah. I've got to be very careful. If I do, I need to go to the toilet, which is also a bad thing. Yeah. I'm, Where, a, I'm, a, I'm a toileter, really. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, Jamie, Jamie is the other end of the spectrum. He He's will, a sweater. He will look at heat and sweat. The ergonomics of the race car is very important to make yeah. sure that that's all square. Even the pedal box. Um, if you look inside our race car, you know, you'd normally think our throttle pedal is in line with our right leg. It's yeah. not. It's our brake pedal. Ah. So, our, so yeah. we move the brake, the, move the whole pedal box off centre yeah. slightly because the biggest force that we put through the pedals is the brake pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? What are you doing? Are you, are you left foot braking, right foot at uh, the moment? I'm right foot braking. I do left foot in the race car. Yeah, it'd be really nice to drive a Colorado with a paddle shift. Yes. Where's a good place to go? Where do you like to? Uh, well, we drive to Bathurst every year. So yeah. that, that's our sort of getaway slash Doesn't preparation. Doesn't feel a bit like work? No, no. <laughs> you Fun, go, funnily you enough, go, I love do you, driving. Do you, go, do you go to Bathurst like outside of October? Or? No. No, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> I so, thought you meant we go to Bathurst on our holidays oh, no. as well. No, we drive to Bathurst That'd for the race weekend. Weird. It would be weird. That'd be quite, <laughs> at, at least it would be. Uh, just, just your tent in the yeah. middle of the uh, Mount Panorama circuit. Right out of, no, just, middle just of nowhere. In the middle of September <laughs> or in the middle of January or something. We could do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks so much, Craig, for giving us a bit of a road test of your Holden Colorado Z71. Now, you've probably got to go off and prepare for the rest of the year. Um, thanks again and, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad to be able to take you for a casual lap, not the hot lap. But yes, we do. We've got uh, obviously work to do. Um, second half of the season to come. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Bye.